Okay, so welcome back folks. We're going to be starting round two here with our 20-minute uh, playing test, tuning stability playing test. And we're going to start off with the, uh, this is a 2004, or wait, 2003, Epiphone Les Paul Standard. I have a few a few Epiphone in that same year, in that same year. That's why I get keep getting mixed up. So yeah, this is 2003 Made in China Epiphone Les Paul Standard, Gibson Truss Rod, and a Cherry Burst. And um, I'm just going to start right away with the with the playing test so right now it is 4:52. so if we end at 12 after 5 and then uh, I'll stop playing and retune so right now it is in tune from round one still and uh, so here we go Let's get our score sheet ready here. Okay, so we're on round two, tuning stability, 20 minute test. So the Epiphone, we're gonna start on the E. What have we got for the E? Still in tune, folks. Or did it go out a little bit? Still in tune, I think. It's sweet, but it goes out just a tad. Hard to score that one, folks. See, it's good, then it goes out. Well, let's try one more time, Mr. E. It goes out, it stays, then it goes out. That one's debatable. Very debatable. Stays on for two seconds, then goes off for two seconds. Well, let's just give that a go. Well, I don't know. What do you think, folks? I'm, I'm, uh... I'm undecided on that one. See, it goes out there. I'm going to call this a no-go, folks. So, I know it, uh, this is all just for fun. This is not no scientific, uh, I'm not getting paid uh, $1 million to do this. By nobody, I'm not affiliated with Epiphone nor Gibson. It's just, uh, my own spanky guitar YouTube channel. Okay, so let's try A. A is good, folks. A to the B. What about D? Oops. Oh, looks like a D might be good. D is still good. All good in the hood. G is good. The G string is good. B. B is good. Woohoo! What about E? E is good, my my friends. 
Isn't that something? I'm gonna give this uh, low E string one more chance. Stays good, then it goes out. See, even here's the A, stays good all the way. Still good, still good, still good. Here's the D, watch. Good, 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 good. Stays good all the way. And the E kind of goes off and on. On, then off. I'm going to have to score that 5.5. A real score it should either be tuned or untuned but that's very close so 5.5 it is out of six mr. epi let's go to uh, da, 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 mr. Gibson so I'm gonna have to play Gibson for 20 minutes now folks you're gonna have to uh, sit tight while this uh, epicness happens See, this one here has uh, the Gibson Les Paul. I keep a strap lock, sh shaler, sh shaler strap lock on it. Right here on top. This guy's a little heavier than the Epiphone. This one's solid wood. I think the Epiphone's solid too, I don't know. I need a drink of coffee, folks. That was a long uh, set I played there, 20 minutes set straight. Okay. Let's save the results here before it dies out. Save. Okay, Gibson Les Paul Standard 50s, contender number one. Let's go.
Okay, so there we have it, folks. 20 minutes of playing the Gibson Les Paul Standard. Let's see if the um, the strings are still in tune, or if they if any of them went out of tune. Get the laptop back up. So, start off with the uh, E string, bottom E string. Like that one went out of tune, folks. E went sharp for some reason. So, looks like the Epiphone might win. So, the Gibson, we give that one a no go red light. Let's go to the A string. The A is good. And we'll go to the D string. D string is good. G string. That one went sharp as well, folks. I'll try it again. So I don't know how these strings, when they get sharper, that means it gets tighter. And not looser. Or more loose. So that one's a no-go too, folks. Looks like our Epiphone is the winner here. So we'll go to the B string. B is good, green. Green light. And lastly, we'll do the high E string. Still good. So, after 20 minutes of playing each guitar, folks, the Epiphone stayed in tune the, uh, the most. With... Well, let's try this this uh, bottom E string one more time. I don't think it's still gonna. It's probably still be sharp. Yeah, still sharp. Okay, so no good, no good for that one. Well, that's it. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with the uh, with the results. That just means uh, that just means nothing means they're both good guitars okay so the Gibson we have one two three four out of six so Epiphone wins round number two folks isn't that interesting well I mean you know as I said before there's all different kinds of things that come into play how many string string bends did I do on each on each string, did I do more string bends on uh, on the Gibson when I was playing the Black Sabbath, or what did I do more string less string ben bends on the Epiphone when I was uh, playing some Led Zeppelin? You know, all the different things. If, um, but this is just uh, a quick demonstration for your uh, for you first time Epiphone buyers, or maybe just uh, you're at home sick from work and you want something to watch and check in uh, check in. Stay tuned in the into the uh, Spanky Guitar Channel. Please subscribe and um, there's a we're celebrating a birthday today here um, on my next video here shortly after I uh, start working and I'll tell you more about that. So um, thanks for watching, folks.